All right, hey guys. So we went to see The Giver because we read this book years ago. We love the book, been so excited about it. As soon as we found out they were making a movie, we knew we had to go see this thing and so worth it. I would have paid for it 10 times over. Awesome movie. Yeah, it was quite a bit different from the book, but I could understand the choices that they made in making it different because it made the movie flow a bit better to screen. You know, it didn't change anything drastic. It still kept the same basic concept, the important fundamentals of the movie. So I'm, I'm okay with whatever little changes they made, yeah. mostly age. They were older. I was very concerned when I saw the previews. I was so upset, especially the first one that came out when it was all in color. I was like, no. Yeah, not how it no. was. Mm -mm. <laughs> but it ended up being really good. It was definitely made a good a transition with the color. It, it worked yeah. out really nicely. There's black and white all through the movie, but they have like the color scenes in between. It's realistic. They show it like how you think it would actually be if you just saw a spot of color here and instead of it just yeah. being black and white to poof. Yeah, they, they did it much more realistic. The cinematography was really good. I loved how they did the, the camera shots and everything with all yeah. of it. Jeff Bridges, oh my God, the so raw good. emotion. Just perfection. So glad he pushed to have this movie made. Great movie. Amazed me. Gave me the feels. Yeah. All over. I teared up like five times. And I, I, I don't really cry. cry in movies. <laughs> and I about cried a lot. Huge impact. Like you you will you will feel that movie. <laughs> Definitely recommend going to see that. So worth it. So worth it. I mean, if you're a book purist, you won't like it very much. But I mean if you're okay with small things being changed, like the ages were changed and, you know, the love interest was added, but the reason why they did that definitely made sense in the end. Yeah, well, like his friend backing him up and like she also had the emotions from not taking, taking her injection, but she helped him out in the end. So it was kind of a necessary part that she understand why she needed to help him. So, like, stuff like that, it was just kind of necessary in the movie where it didn't add up really in the book. So, I'm okay. I'm okay with the changes. Yeah, and I will definitely agree with some of the people who have, like, I think it was the writer of the book said that the way the book was written, there's no way that they could translate that to screen and make it interesting. Yeah, Like, it's a good read, tweet. but a good watch if it was completely and totally straight on with the book just would not have worked yeah the, the small changes they made worked perfectly with the plot and everything i mean they didn't change anything big it's still they kept all the main parts of the book no. meryl streep like yeah played the perfect bitch i'm sorry but you play a really good bitch meryl streep. <laughs> yeah flawlessly it's like she was curious and she didn't want anybody else to know what she didn't know but you could see the emptiness in her eyes yeah <laughs> such a good actress. She did so good. So good. And honestly, this isn't just because I'm a fan of Alexander Skarsgård, but I think he did a really good job. I pictured the father a little differently, but that's the disposition I pictured him having. Having. Yeah. Having. Having. <laughs> so I, I feel the like having. really good. Sounds like a scary movie. <laughs> the Havening. But, oh, we think The Giver, they're gonna, there's like four different books. Yeah. And we think they're going to do a series of them and actually do them all. And we're just so excited for it. We're going to read the books as they come out. Expect more reviews if that ever happens. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try. I doubt we can, but we're going to try to do some sort of review maybe once a month, once every couple months. Go to a movie and... Depending on how broke we are. Do, yeah. <laughs> College. <laughs> debt. Books. Money. Expensive. Computers. Life. Adulthood. Anyways. The Giver. The suggestions here. I should also like hit that button because this, this, down this, there, this down general there. area of the screen, I think. If not, I'm an idiot and I apologize. Down there. I left the bleach on too long. That's what it is. So what happens if you leave the blue on too long? You turn, you into, turn a into a blueberry? <gasps> blueberry! Don't eat me. Uh, it would be fun to be a blueberry. She's gonna eat me. Thank you for watching if you actually watched to this point. I would give you a cookie if I had any, and if that was possible via computer. And we will see you later on this week, most likely. Trying to get some more videos up. Like I said, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. 
click that beautiful web button that I think is over here. So yeah, and overall, that should do it. I'm gonna say nine out of ten, ten stars or whatever for the giver. I give yeah. it a very high rating. Not completely perfect, but a very very good movie. It definitely so. stands out from other movies. So, cyber hugs, kisses. Bye.